What'd you guys think? Uh, I think that's a stupid <laughs> <good> episode. <laughs> it actually was not a bad episode. Well, I was expecting it. Considering, <laughs> considering, <laughs> huh? considering yeah. season eight hasn't been doing too well. Oh yeah, guys, got a problem. One minor complaint. They what? never said break a leg or break a hoof or something. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, it's okay, you got four of them. Because it's like the most cliche thing you can do. Yeah, they're yeah. horses. If they broke their leg, you'd have to put them down. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so... Oh. How do you pronounce oh. this rider's name? Who it puts was... two consonants next to each other? <laughs> I don't know, whatever country... That person. <laughs> anyway, I, I, gotta, I gotta say, right off the bat, it really did feel like a new rider's episode. The way they introduced every main six character, like the stereotypes they are, and... I don't know. I, I'm kind of mixed on this episode. Anybody? I, I, I'm not mixed at all. So I, I'm, annoyed annoyed they, I'm annoyed they didn't really use Starlight. They gave most of the main characters dialogue. She was there like, to be Starlight useless. Really. Exactly. Yeah, like she's, all she's there. Yeah. She's to do. No, she was there, but she she just wasn't used. She was there, but like just, just like just like, just like every other episode. Useless. Yeah, <laughs> just like oh, every episode, Max. Starlight and like, sure. Now that's. No. See, that's untrue, and you know that. Yeah. There's like no point to her being there at all. Let's let's be honest. She's one of the main uh, seven yeah, now. Well, well, welcome right. to the welcome we, to the Starlight argument live. Yeah, stream. let's not make this about Starlight. <laughs> Magma knows he okay. we, we can all agree. Starlight. I noticed Rarity made like those bad bad costumes, but it was just like, why why did she make those for Celestia? It should have been an improvement, but. <laughs> I, I like Pinky's enthusiasm in this episode, trying to make it... Save for the review! What? Is this the review? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're live now, bad. Tootsie. Yeah, Tootsie. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm being honest. <laughs> what did you think this was? Oh, yeah. When, is the... Yeah, this is <laughs> when the... does the review start? This, this is, is another... <laughs> this is another you-have-to-be-honest sort of episode. Tell when your friends the, the truth. And I, I, I'm working on... <laughs> I, I, I've been working on the Inspiration Manifestation Sins video, so... I feel like I've just rewatched the same moral. I don't know. They're they're repeating themselves. Like I said, the show should have died after season five. I wouldn't say die, but uh, no, I you know I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I think the show still has a lot of potential. And anyway, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about the show's potential. We're just talking about one episode today. It never had potential. I think Josie's just mad that he hasn't managed to kill the show yet. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's mad the I'm show's looking, still going. And looking forward no, to your rant, Tootsie. <laughs> Well, hey, I I don't really have any minor. Actually, I only have minor problems with this episode. Such as? <laughs> Go on. I don't know. It's just minor stuff. Tell us. Go on. Like, Tell what? us. Share with the class. Celeste, Celestia pretty much rose the sun at night, but it didn't make much sense because the stars were still out. So I'm guessing she didn't raise it all the way. Tizzy Owen, do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> not really. I'm not really in the. I'm not really in the. Very good. The stars I'm not are in still there. Astronomy or whatever it's called. No, so, so what's your complaint? That the stars weren't visible after the sun was raised. No, they were visible. They were visible. Okay. I the stars know, are always magic. there. You know that, right? Yeah. You, yeah. you realize that stars are always in the sky. It's just the sun is brighter. One thing I like to point out. I know, is... but when she brought the sun, like it's, it's probably just done. Like, oh, she didn't bring the, it. That this far is in, the so complaint you thought stars. you would bring up, really. <laughs> Well, like I like said, this is a, I'm sorry, but this is a good episode. I can't really complain okay. much on it. Okay, like, yeah, I'll give you that. I guess the one I thing I can... No, I, there is one thing I can complain. It. Actually, not really a complain, but I just noticed. In the last three episodes we watched, it always has something to do with Applejack. <laughs> but no, you should have listened to Applejack. Oh, it's Applejack's fault. I didn't learn anything! I always forget I about wrong. Applejack. Oh, to make the up last that. three... Or not to the last three, because I guess the last episode wasn't there, but the Granny's Gone Wild and what was the other one? Tommy Wiseau's a better actor than Princess Celestia. <laughs> so I want to I was... say, though, I want to say, though, Nicole Oliver must have had a fun time, like, you know, voice <laughs> yeah. acting for this I mean, episode. Is there right? better than Definitely. being a professional actor portraying someone that That was Nicole think. Oliver's audition. I, take like, I could imagine, I could imagine, I could imagine, like, Nicole Oliver walking into the studio and they're like, uh, okay, Nicole, do do whatever you want to <laughs> for this <laughs> episode. Do what you want today. Yeah, exactly. No, they didn't. No, they didn't tell her because oh crap, we got Nicole Lolliver. Don't tell yeah, her. She can't act. She's a bad actor. She's no. horrible. <laughs> also, I do find it she's kind a good of. Actor. I find it, so I sorry find to very. Con By the way, one other minor complaint I do have is Pinkie Pie literally destroyed all their hard work. Oh, yeah, with those back alley Trixie fireworks. I love that. <laughs> yeah. oh, she's, a, she's a junk rat man. She's a junk rat man. Junk rat. 
I do like it. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, a little nod to Ha ha ha. I've noticed in the last couple of se seasons, or at least somewhat recently, including the movie, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash seem to be getting an increasing tendency to be counterproductive. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. Okay, so one of my complaints would be how uh, a few of the things that went wrong in this episode felt contrived. Uh, for example, Pinky's fireworks destroying everything like that. Like, why would she do that? Just, just because it's Pinky. Okay, we have to have a conflict. Oh, it's funny. It's Pinky boy. Oh. Um, and uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, and probably the biggest complaint I have is just Celestia being oblivious to all this. She should know that she's a bad actor. I mean, I don't know. I guess, I well, guess she she's kind acted of in over a thousand years. Yeah, well, she's, I mean, a, she's socially inept true. because she's a princess. She gets special attention. She doesn't really know how to act. No she like doesn't care. Like maybe she doesn't care. She's a bad actor because she knows everyone's gonna be dead and won't remember it. <laughs> maybe. I mean, you gotta you gotta say though, that. Twilight Twilight has been like a almost like a lifelong well not lifelong but like you know ever ever since she was born. Twilight's like, life almost yeah. <laughs> Also, yeah, little, pretty much. But like the thing is, she was born about the thing she is, was like a little filly. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, Twilight just, uh, you know, being the best friend to Celestia, told her, "Hey, you, you could be a good actor." And you know, Celestia's like, "Oh, okay." Oh yeah. You know, going with it. Yeah, this one whole minor... false compliment thing is a good moral, even if they have done it before. It is a good one. Right. One minor, one other yeah. minor complaint I have is that I felt like Twilight was way too mean spirited. Oh yeah, at the like end. Oh, that's another Celestia. example. She just explodes yeah. and like that. And it yes, feels contrived. Where is they it? They say it's stress. It's the rapid but dash yet, I made. didn't really. Yeah, I wouldn't say she was more stressed, just more of worry. But I don't really believe she would have just went that off on Celestia. That or well, not she had to to wrap up the episode, either. right? I yeah. know, but it was just so <laughs> dumb. Well, not. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just it, no, it came. Point. No, the, the way I can describe this is like the scene from the Pony movie when Twilight <laughs> yep. went off on Pinkie Pie. It didn't. It just felt so, odd and out of place. I guess Twilight losing it is kind of a personality trait. Like it's not something that's completely new to her. So we can get we like, use that as an excuse, kind of. She's done this since season like one, right? She explodes. Yeah, it's been. I know, but they also. Does. She she builds up stress and doesn't know how to cope with it, so she just yeah. kind of explodes. Also, one thing I was hoping is like during the beginning when she was like ah, like she jumps up and gets mad. <laughs> I was really hoping for her to turn into that pony tall again. Yeah, they don't do enough Rapid cartoony dash. stuff like that anymore. Yeah, it needs to be yeah. more cartoony. It's a cartoon. Make it a cartoon. If they just gave her flaming hair and then it went away and they didn't talk about it like that, you know that that's okay. They can that do that. Why funny. don't Why don't they do that anymore? <laughs> it needs to be more Looney Tunes because yeah. the show was good before season five. Like like bring, bring back bring back. Uh, Bring back Rapidash and Pinkamina. Yeah, we almost got Pinkamina with the uh, the wet meme. There. Oh, there we go. I got the screenshot. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Not quite. Almost. Hey, hey, can I give my final, final, final thoughts? I gotta go. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Um, really liked this episode. It was really good. Um, probably one of the best episodes of the season. Like Celestia's bad acting, <laughs> and you know all that sort of stuff. And uh, you know Twilight and just trying her best to be a good like director but she always fails at the same time um liked celestia's troll like it was really good um probably one of the best episodes of the season in my opinion so i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 whoa okay <laughs> 10 out of 10 from drummer all right yeah. gotcha. i don't have guys. a problem Wait, we're good. not we're not rating yet though but okay no but that's good i like that He's gone already. Okay, goodbye, drummer. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. But yeah, would you guys agree with his ten out of ten rating? Usually, we no. don't get to discuss I mean, after that, rating. That's no, ten, 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 ten. I don't think it is. Too much. I don't think it deserves a ten. I cannot give this a ten. Would, I can't it give it a. Would only deserve a ten if it didn't. Well, if it was very close to flawless, or um, its upsides were so. Or it's like top bolt, or what so, so you're saying is we're not flawless. We but you gotta, you gotta remember though, drummer. That's damn it, drummer. That's drummer shy's <laughs> reaction to everything when he's happy, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, drummer shy's. Oh, oh, I like something. It's, it's he leaves. The best let's talk crap on him. I like something. It's the best. It's the best thing ever. Ten out of ten. It's one of the best episodes so far in the season. Drummer shy's idea confirmed. This is the best episode so far in the season. <laughs> All no, right, should we a... should we jump into right. individual ratings yeah, and reviews? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go ahead. All right. Basically um, already did it, so yeah. yeah. All, all right, well. so I'm first, but I'm gonna wrap things up. So we're gonna jump to Magma Master. What do you think? Uh, I had a really good time with this episode. Um, I there were some things that bothered me, like in the beginning, um, I thought the way they portrayed Celestia's reaction that was a bit much, and it did feel off. I like how you said and... reaction. Shut up. Uh, 
Shut up, Tootsie. Wait your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Being German is hard. Anyway, um... <laughs> I lost my train of thought, thanks, Tootsie! Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. So, um... And also, um... Th the premise wasn't too original. Um... The, the whole thing, oh, someone's doing something that will cause problems and it's bad, but someone else is um, too afraid to hurt their feelings that they're not going to tell them. It's not very original, but I think a lot of that is made up in its execution. Um, something this episode was pretty good on a lot of the time, uh, not all the time, uh, was the humor. There were a lot of good jokes, and it did have a lot of um, moments where, you know, ponies were just being cute, or um, we got a decent meme face or two. And, um, but, yeah, there were, there was a bit of an issue with, with um, the behavior of some of the main characters, like Pinkie Pie, as we've brought up before, I thought uh, her behavior in the episode was a bit stupid, and um, and I'm not so sure how to feel about this um, this reoccurring theme of Rainbow Dash, <laughs> as well as Pinkie Pie being very counterproductive. Um, but it still entertained me very well, and it felt good to um, have one of those moments again where... Celestia just trolls Twilight. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I had a great time. I'm going to give this episode an 8. For me, the best of the season so far. Wow, all right. 8 out of 10 from Magma. Uh, Shady Games, what'd you think? I thought this was a really fun episode, to be honest. It was fun, but, like, at the same time, it had its flaws. Like, I like how um, it was kind of an episode about Celestia because, you know, it's been a while since we've had an episode about Celestia and um, she was like really adorable at some parts. And, you know, I just really like, I just really like Celestia now. And, um, you know, um, I had other points to say about it. Like, uh, like, mm, shoot. <laughs> I, uh, like I lost my train of thought. I forgot exactly what it was, but I just have to say there were there were some flaws, and but but yet it was a really fun episode. And I I, I do want to point out that um, Starlight pretty much contributed to nothing in the play, let alone the episode. Like she was just there. Like I was questioning. I was like, why is she there if she's not going to do anything? Like <laughs> I guess. The only real reason she was there was to like say like like tell um twilight that you know she's not a princess princess because you know oh yeah it was quite funny to look at um there were a lot of funny moments in this episode and at the very end i i love how um celestia's gotcha came back and that that there were a lot of laughs in it so that's pretty much all i gotta say so I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10. All right, another 8. Oh, hold on, my tab just froze up. Chrome, why you do this? Okay. 8. Cool. All right, uh, Sonic Crew, what would you think? Um, I thought it was pretty good. It only had some problems with it. Like, I felt like mostly the middle section, like when we're getting ready for the play and everything, I felt, for me, it felt too fast-paced for me. Like, I guess it's because, like, we're trying to fall in the mood with Twilight. Like, she's so stressed out. She's got to focus on these one things, like getting the play ready and helping Celestia with her acting. Like, trust me, I can 100% relate to that, completing that. I've been doing some filmmaking stuff, and, like, I have to focus on, like, oh, I got to set up the camera. I got to work with the actors and everything like that, which I totally get. But I don't know. I just felt it was too fast for me. Um, other than that, uh, everything else was good. Um, it was a good Celestia episode. Um, one other problem, though, is this, is this doesn't go entirely against the episode, but it's just like Rainbow Dash being able to pull off a Sonic Rain Boob again that quick. We haven't seen that since, like, the uh, the season two finale, where she, like, does that Rain Boob at the end of the wedding. Uh, other than that, um, it was good. I'm going to have to get this 7 out of 10. All right, 7 from Sonic Crew. Let me write that down. 
All right, who's next? Oh, Tootsie. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I want to hear one of your classic oh, rants in favor or against an episode is always interesting. What do you think? All right, Tootsie, give us some screeching. <laughs> uh, oh, there he is. Okay, there it is. Fine. Sorry, my mic was muted. Uh, well, hate to disappoint you, but you're not really going to get a rant. Okay, that's that's fine. You can like an episode. <laughs> okay, all right, you sure? Because I can, I can just hate this episode for stupid reasons. Like, I could bring up the fact that... Hey, that's my job. To, no, I can bring up the fact that the school characters pretty much did nothing. Didn't even have a line. Didn't say anything. All they did was go, ah, after they fell. Well, if they needed a plot device, might as well use yeah. them. I know, but they didn't really do anything. Like, I'm not hating them, and I do find it... I don't know, I just find it kind of odd to see a yak, a dragon, and a changeling dress up as ponies. Fair point. I thought it was just kind of odd. Oh, wait, then again, well, so see, are you racist? No, but <laughs> Starlight, uh, yeah, she... No, this is a perfect example of why Starlight's useless. She has no purpose in this episode. She could have been written out and everything would have been perfect. Fine. Quiet, Magma, I'm, re I'm, I'm reviewing here. <laughs> I will be complete. Like, she has no purpose. I'm not saying she's a bad character. I'm just saying she's useless in this episode. You can back me up on that. Um, another thing is, like, I thought it was kind of funny to see Celestia. I, I, I can see the moral between Twilight trying to... It's like, oh, she's done a lot for me. I want to do something nice for her. So I'm going to try to let her live out her dream as an actor. Then once that kind of just fails, Twilight's like, gosh, gosh, everything's failing. Then Pinkie Pie blows up the stage, which another problem I have, Pinkie Pie, her, 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 she's funny, you can't explain it, Pinkie Pie. I know, but there's a difference between funny and just pure stupid. That was just stupid, what Pinkie Pie did. She knows what she did was wrong. She acknowledges that she's gonna or that it was wrong, but she's gonna do it anyway. I also did not really like how just how Twilight just exploded on everyone, and then like kind of hurt Celestia's feelings because it just felt it kind of felt like that scene from the Pony movie where Twilight just randomly exploded on Pinkie Pie saying we're not gonna be friends anymore or something like that. Oh, it just felt kind of off. Like, really out of place, because I didn't really see Twilight as stressed out. More was just worried. So I really didn't feel like that whole ex that rant on her shouldn't have really happened. But, yeah, it's a kid's show. You got to have drama or whatever. I like the little scene when Twilight and Celestia were, like, talking while they were flying, as it felt kind of like that part in uh, the Rainbow Dash studying episode where Rainbow Dash and Twilight were just flying through the sky, just having, like, a nice conversation. But it was during the night, and so I think that really... I thought that was really nice. But I also liked how instead of... Uh, they pretty much uh, didn't really kick Celestia out of the play, but she just moved her to director, which I thought was a really interesting way to go because she actually knew what she was doing. But overall, I I don't know. I, I like this episode, and I'm just going to give it uh, an 8 out of 10. All right, another 8. Nice. Uh, nice. Turtle, what do you think? Uh, okay, so I will say there are a few problems with it. Like Tootsie brought up, like Pinky was a bit too random. Rainbow Dash was surprisingly good at marketing um, because it was bad for the group. Um, I really liked, I'm going to disagree though and say that I liked Twilight blowing up because as we said before, it's kind of a kind of a character trait that's been established in season one for that she, she builds up a lot of stress and tension and doesn't know how to directly uh, talk about them, which leads to a lot of great interactions of, you know, understanding how to deal with situations yourself, which is where the morals come in. So I like that she does it. It's interesting. Makes her a good character. Uh, gives her flaws. Um, and I really liked how she came to the resolution with Celestia of finally confronting the things she didn't want to do. And then coming up with a legitimate apology that actually addressed what Celestia was upset about. Not that she was a bad actress or actor. Um, it was more so that, it, that she was lying to her. And that was the bigger problem that Celestia had. And she genuinely apologized for it. And that's a good thing to teach people genuine apology um on top of that just it was it would have some nice cartoony moments the the humor was on point like the explosives like the the uh fireworks that she got from trixie that pinky got from trixie that was just a good joke to kind of get the laugh out of me um uh but it i do have some questions though like celestia used her power to raise the sun at the end of the play which i mean who didn't see that coming first of all but second of all didn't they bring up that exact point in the movie um like when twilight was like yeah i want you to use this for the friendship celebration whoever it was um but and celestia and luna were like no we can't do that it's stupid <laughs> i agree you're right yeah 
Um, so I feel like that they kind of went back on the, in a season where they've been relying so heavily on the movie. It's kind of weird they ignored that. Um, but I th I think I have to agree with the group here. I was thinking an eight out of ten as well. All right, eight out of ten from so Turtle. How Penny. many eights is that? Uh, that's a lot of eights. I yeah, rate eight, eight out of eight, mate. Eight, eight, eight. All right. Uh, I suppose I'll wrap things up with my review. I got a few notes here, as usual. So, so interesting. When the episode starts off, we get a, uh, a little scene with uh, it's Celestia's anniversary of raising the sun, and we got like a specific year number date, and like it's whoa! I got like hit with all this information at once. I kind of like, stood up straight. Okay, this will be an interesting episode. But then Celestia starts prancing around all silly like, and it's like, really, is this what she's reduced to? Because I, I still come from like a season one, season two era where Celestia is this regal powerful figure that's like almost like a the goddess good old days. almost like a yeah. goddess even though she never really was a goddess but uh she's special you know and uh i'm torn because on one hand it's cool seeing celestia act silly and funny and like more more like an actual person less like a deity or whatever and at the same time kind of miss when she was had that special aspect to her and it's kind of it's at this point it's completely gone she's just like a kid inside of a 1000 year old pony at this point which again is an interesting idea but <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it in this episode, so I'm still torn on that. Um, another thing that came up right in the beginning of the episode was the way they introduced every single character. You know, like, oh, uh, Rarity likes the fashion. Oh, Pinky is silly. Oh, Rainbow Dash is cool. They, they kind of introduce each character as if this is your first time watching the show almost, which in a way is kind of, you know, what you're supposed to do when you introduce characters, right? But at the same time, it kind of feels like it's the writer trying to get used to these new characters and not really understanding... You know, it's been how many years now? We we know the basics of these characters at this point, you, and you can convey those basics through the episode without having those introductions. That's a minor complaint, but it was just something that stood out to me. You know, such as uh, Rainbow Dash's Sonic Rainboom being a thing, like, it only lasts a few frames now, nobody really even mentions it's ha it happened. It's like, okay, it's nothing now? I, I feel like yeah. that's sad, you know, being a fan for all these years and having something mm -hmm. as big as the Sonic Rainboom be reduced to uh, an exit gag. It's Not even that. They didn't even address the, yeah. the Rainboom. But, uh, and then, of course, right after that, we get a good moment. I have, not all my notes are bad. We get the royal canonot voice from Celestia. That was really cool. That's a good reference to, uh, you know, Luna's thing. You know, that was an old thing in the fandom. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, and the, the biggest note I have here is throughout the Celestia acting thing, she's oblivious to it. Why would she be ob oblivious? And I guess the answer to that is because she's socially awkward and she doesn't have that self-awareness. Because she's always on the pedestal, she's always treated special like the special pony she is. She never really gets a chance to not like to she be has criticized. a thousand years to overcome this. Yeah, she never really got a chance to be criticized and actually just hang out with a bunch of normal ponies. So it makes sense for her to be awkward and not have that awareness. But at the same time, I, I didn't enjoy seeing it in the episode. It's just too awkward. It's not a, a situation I want to see Celestia in being that the real oblivious bad actor is just uh, no. I don't want that for Celestia. Maybe, maybe some other pony like Starlight or something, but not Celestia. Um, Wait, can you relate to her? Um, maybe I don't know. And then uh, another funny joke. I probably have a screenshot here somewhere of the Trixie's back alley fireworks. You know, little little moments like that. I think are the best part of the episode. We got a bunch of little moments, including uh, oh, you know, Starlight. Oh, you but you're not a princess, princess sort of thing. And then uh, I have written down here Twilight's snapping towards the end, where she snaps and just like blurts out all of her feelings, and Celestia's in the back row or whatever behind her listening. And I have written down: Is that continuity of uh, Twilight doing this thing where she builds up her anger and all of a sudden snaps like she has in the past, or is it just contrivance to move the episode along? And I really, I, I feel like it leans towards contrivance. Uh, I don't feel like Twilight really. Not not enough was implied to, to not enough was happened to imply this was building up, even though it, it makes sense in hindsight. It didn't really play out as well as I, I, it could have, I guess. And then, of course, right after that, we get Twilight's little chat with Celestia, which was nice, flying through the air, kind of like Tootsie said in the uh, what even was the title of that episode with with Dash? But either way, that was a fun episode. Oh man, the title of it's on my tip of my tongue, but uh, you know, I like seeing her fly through the air and they have that little chat. That really, it was good for the personalities, and I don't know, everything about that was nice. It was just very nice. Um, and that's the end of my notes here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be giving it the lowest rating of the group, I think. <laughs> as soon as I went into this review, I had a rating in mind. And then the Space Pony actually came in the chat and shared some of their, their thoughts and actually gave a rating. And it just so happens my rating is the same as yours, the Space Pony. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Okay. So let me calculate the average. We need a drum roll. We I don't guess have you're uh, I'm Twittered. What? I'm triggered. Wait, wait. All right, the wait, average. Wait. What? Wait, if wait, little shy. If you give it a six, drummer gave it a ten. And now, wait, didn't everyone else give it an eight? Oh my God. Uh, one person gave it a seven. Yeah. That was me. Ah, so the average is going to be just below eight. 
Yeah, you're right. It's a 7.8, and we round up, so it'll be an 8. 8 out of 10 for this one. Which, ha- being someone being someone who gave it a 6, I, I disagree with 8. I think that's too high, but okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Drummer Shy inflated it. Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you, everyone, for stopping by. For those who don't know, we do these silly little reviews every week as soon as the credits roll, so be sure to tune in next time. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in this time, and hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good Bye. one. Bye.